Now to what's being called an urgent public health threat. Doctors are concerned about a highly infectious fungus, which is spreading at health care facilities in Michigan and across the country. Experts say since its detection back in 1990, the fungus has evolved and become drug resistant. Data shared by DMC shows that over 200 patients are infected in Michigan, of which nearly half are in southeast Michigan. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid has more on how you can protect yourself. As a medical assistant at a physician's office in Farmington Hills, 46-year-old Janine Collins is concerned about the fungal outbreak. I have three girls and I just try to make sure that they can stay as healthy as possible. Um, I also have an autoimmune disease, so because of that we have to be careful with certain things. The CDC has flagged the fungus Candida auris or C. auris as an urgent health threat. Study shows it's spreading at an alarming rate throughout healthcare facilities. And since Janine sees up to 25 patients a day, she is following COVID safety protocols at home. Making sure they're washing their hands the way they're supposed to um, and taking our shoes off at the door, um, making sure I try to clean as much as I possibly can with bleach. Infectious diseases expert Dr. Tina Chopra says C. auris is highly transmissible and can spread if a person comes in contact with a contaminated surface or individual. Once the infection happens, it causes a very high morbidity and mortality. So what symptoms are we talking about? It can cause pneumonias, it can cause wound infections, organ failure or sepsis, which presents in the form of fever hypotension, which is low blood pressure. People at risk include patients with comorbidities, the elderly, especially in nursing homes, and immunocompromised and long-term care patients. If infected, how soon will they start seeing symptoms? Pretty much immediately. Uh, they will have symptoms before we can detect it in their blood. Now, Dr. Chopra says since there are not many treatment options for C. auris fungus infection, prevention is better than cure, meaning proper hand washing and sanitizing will go a long way. We have to really clean the surfaces with bleach to get rid of it. And if they're visiting a relative who is in a, pay, in a room that is in, uh, they are in contact isolation or have C. auris, then they need to wear their gloves and gowns and full protection. Now, Dr. Chopra says C. auris is not a virus like the coronavirus, hence it's not airborne, making face masks optional. So you can read more about C. auris on WXYZ.com. I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News. All right, Faraz, thank you for that report.